Hello YouTube, in this tutorial we are going to install OpenBSD system version 6.5. The thing is that you need to go to download section and it depends about flat platform here. You need to grab uh, your you know ISO file. This is how your name will look like and this x6 means just version of um, system. So if it's uh, 6.5 this will be 6.5 here. So that file is close to 400 megabytes and I don't want to download that because I already have that but uh, you need to do that of course. So in my case that's in DLL folder into root and this is that file 360 uh, 76 megabytes something like that who cares. So that's one thing. Another thing we're going to use Oracle Virtual Box and this will be what you need if you're on Windows, Windows installer. So that's about it about preparation. Let's go to Virtual Box and let's create a new machine basically. The name will be OpenBSD. The type must be BSD and not Linux. Okay, that's important. I will choose OpenBSD 32 bit version. So next. Memory, how much you want to allocate? One gigabyte, in my case, that's pretty much bearable. Create a virtual hard disk now. Okay, why not? We must do that. That will be a virtual hard disk. Next. So, um, will that be a disk with fixed size or, that, or dynamically allocated? It's up to you, but I will go with uh, dyna dynamic allocation because hard disk file will only use space on your physical hard disk as it fills up up to maximum maximum fixed space although it will not shrink again automatically when space on it is freed so that's maybe what you need to know if this is first time you're using oracle virtual box so next and how much uh, gigabytes let's let's use four i'm going to use four so it depends yeah, I think that you will be fine with the same amount, but I don't know your situation, so it's it's up to you. Right. Create. And that's done. So here's a couple of things here. Video memory, 16 megabytes. Let's hire that up to, to six, uh, I don't know, 48. That will be pretty much enough. Okay. And uh, storage, no, system. See this? Turn this floppy down there because you need an optical drive to be uh, first in a boot order. So that's about it. Now, oh yeah, sorry, one more thing. Storage. Amp uh, click on empty here and then here to add your ISO file, which is in my case in the root. So let me find that. Uh, DLL let's click on it open and we are fine okay so um, yeah let's go with start and let's go for the best canon right so that works so here's the thing uh, either you will have this arrangement or you can just press right control and C and then you will find yourselves into scale mode. Scale mode means that you can well define the size of your uh, screen of virtual machine. So if you want to switch basically between modes you can just pr press control C a couple of times and if you want to get into full screen mode you can just press uh, I think uh, right control and F but I don't want to do that because I will mess around with my recordings so what we have from options install upgrade auto install or shell we need to do a couple of things manually here so I think it's good to go with install and your keyboard layout uh, let's just press enter because I'm using you know USA English English style so yeah, system host name. Uh, I don't know. System. Enter. Which network interface do we wish to configure? I think that in Linux the name of interface are different. So in BSD that's just... Uh, it depends about producer of your network card but uh, EM0. So let's just press enter and IP version 4 address. Let's go with dynamic location. Uh, so DHCP basically so enter 
and I will probably blur a couple of things here, it depends. Right, so IP version 6, just press enter here and uh, yep, we are pretty much done. So let's just press enter. Now DNS domain name, I don't know. This is a throwaway system, so example will work. Password for root account, and I will forget this in a couple of seconds, I promise. I always do that. You know, some people say don't write passwords on a, on a piece of paper, but man, I, lately I can't understand these, these, these folks who do that. So, start SSHD by default. Well, yes. Do you expect to run X system? Yes. Do you want the X system to be started by Xeno, DM, whatever? No. So let's just press enter and set up a user with a name user and full name for user. <coughs> Sorry. Well, user. Password. And I will forget to definitely. Uh, okay. Allow root a uh, secure login. Yes. Time zone. Enter. Which default is the root disk? Well, enter. Because in my case, that's the only one, virtual one. So, enter. Use the whole disk or edit partitions. I will just go with everything. So, now, auto layout or edit layout or create custom layout. Let's just go with auto because we are kind of beginners. So, that will get the job done. Location of sets. Uh, you have a couple of options here like um, CD and disk and uh, HTTP location, but I will go with uh, uh, ISO, so enter. Path name, enter. We, 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 wanna, we will need everything, so let's just type uh, done here, I mean enter. Directory does not contain signature. Continue without verification, well, yes. And probably I will cut a couple of things here because I want to save your guys a little bit of time. So let's see what's up. Okay, we are done here. So let's just press enter. Time appears wrong. Who cares? Enter. Uh, yeah, I need to wait a couple of seconds here because this relinking to create unique kernel will took ourselves, uh, I don't know, it depends, but less than a half of a minute. So. We have, we need to have that a little bit of time. Congratulations, uh, thank you. Your OpenBSD installs has been successful, successfully completed. So thank you OpenBSD community. Now let's go to shell to halt system or reboot. And I'm going to go to uh, halt because we need to change the boot order in our virtual machine. So let's wait seconds here because we need to sunk disk. Synchronize this cannot sunk them. That's not submarine. So that's pretty much it Control C and let's go to file and uh, close Power off the machine and okay Okay, so that's one part of the story. Let's go into machine again to Settings and let's change the boot order Hard disk must be on the first place optical at second Okay, so let's hope for the best now. Right, come on. That works. Nice. Control C. And we have scaled our desktop now. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. This first boot will took a little bit longer. So maybe a minute or something. It's not that much, you know, when you think about how much Windows took. Starting network, I need to blur again, reordering libraries, generating new host keys, and Intel firmware, that will took us uh, five seconds or something, I don't know. So let me see. And in the meantime, I will grab a coffee, so. So we are close to end here, right, now, root, because not, why not, we will always go with the root because this is throwaway system, so password, if I didn't forget it, 
that's it you have mail how to read it press mail and this is the list of mails the first one is from Tio uh, so if you press one and enter you will get yourselves into mail mails uh, if you want to get out just press Q and enter and clear screen so let's see what kind of things we have uh, by default here now uh, yeah SMTPD that means that your OpenBSD is working as a mail server basically right now so you can send emails uh, if you like well some people will say that's not secure by default but you can change that in co configuration or you can just kill processes but that's not priority here so we will not mess around with that let's clear screen again and here's the thing let's go to graphical interface just press press start X and enter and so this is about it now if this looks ugly to you don't worry because I need to uh, to have it like this because if I go to default how open BSD look basically into reality I will do that when I press control right and C and this is how how uh, open BSD system look like but you don't see that uh, portion down there if you are testing this on a real machine you will see that fonts are beautiful basically so how to change how to change this default background let me just go to scale mode go to right click sorry I think right click no left click and go to modules and go to background see now you have that nice system kind of background blue background and so that's pretty much about it you can here uh, open new terminals like uh, left left click and X term and left click and X term again and the interesting thing is that they will well to some degree uh, arrange each other so for example uh, one X term and another X term so that's about it folks you know so yet another thing if you wanna go to new terminals uh, you can do that but by pressing uh, control left control and plus alt plus F uh, buttons on your keyboard for example control alt F1 and don't worry about this it's completely normal and when you press ctrl alt f2 and when you press ctrl alt f3 and ctrl alt f4 and when you go to ctrl alt f5 you will be into basic desktop basically if you press ctrl alt f6 again login screen but if you go to ctrl alt f7 nothing uh, happens pretty much so F F5 is kind of default and F3, 4 and 2 are for different logins. So you can log in of course here. Okay. And you can do all kind of stuff. So let's just go to control alt and F5 and yeah that's that's pretty much it now you can play around in in the next tutorials and there will be lots of tutorials dedicated for open bsd because that's great system we are going to play around with games and installation of uh, packages applications uh, and so on but this is it you know this is open bsd and please don't think that font is ugly in OpenBSD default. Just press Ctrl C, and if you're on virtual machine, machine, you will you will see what I'm talking about. I really, really love this system. It, it saves me so much time because thinking about Linux and Windows and different Trojan horses and viruses and worms and hiders, it's just it's just too much to invest my time in, in that thing. So anyway, if you want to shut it down you can just go to you know uh, any kind of terminal here and just type uh, shut down h now and that will pretty much be it so don't be scared about this you know what's happening because in a couple of seconds you will see this on the screen and that's it now you can just go out and uh, close your machine power off the machine okay and that's about it.
See you next tutorial. Thank you for watching and for subscription.